Hi, this is Shadi and this video is very special. I've been meaning to make it for a very long time now. It's about Joshiro Maruyama in the Grand Slam of Tokyo back in 2013. He was disputing the championship. He was doing brilliantly as you see here. The same old Joshiro Maruyama. However, against Chibana the Brazilian in the quarterfinals, we saw him rip his leg, his knee in particular, as you see here. This looks very painful. Now, this reminds me of another incident that happened. If you remember from my Kosei Inoue video on the Kano Cup Finals in 2005 against Yuri Ryback of Belarus, he tore his uh, muscles, the shoulder muscle ripped from the pectoral muscle and still he continued the, uh, the finals and won via Ochigari to win the Kano Cup, yet he disappeared for almost a year and a half to come back in the plus 100 and not only he had a good comeback, I mean, it wasn't very successful because as we saw, he lost to Teddy Rene in the 2007 World Championship and he could not qualify for the Olympics and eventually had to retire. But not only did he come back, but also switched to categories for the super heavyweight. And here we see Joshiro in January of 2014 going into surgery for his knee that he tore or injured in the Tokyo Grand Slam. and. A lot of doctors thought that he was gonna retire from judo and this was it for him or at least stop competing. He can still train but stop competing because as you see here it looks terrible and yet he chose not to give up. This incident truly gives me a whole new perspective on Joshiro Maruyama and it truly gives me a new perspective and I truly and honestly admire him now even more and respect him even more for it and you know like I said before he is one of my favorite competing today now he is for sure my favorite I mean this is what judo is he is not just a competitive athlete out for, to get the medals but he's also out to better himself to train to really push himself now I've talked about the philanthropist part of judo that you know making things better for those around you but there's also the mental uh, challenge of judo that you really need to push or in, if you don't you're simply not gonna get what you want and you are simply gonna die if you want and his death could be in the judo world however look he is still thriving he did brilliantly in this world championship and even back from the Almaty in the 2016 and also in Osaka against Abe um, in Dusseldorf. I really think he should have disputed Paris instead of Abe because we saw with Abe it was catastrophic. But this incident truly gives me a new found respect for Maruyama. Imagine knee surgery or knee injury can literally kill your career but look it's like nothing happened to him. He truly used this as a stepping stone. He, he moves like he has no joints. He's like a rubber man. And this is what makes him a judo. This is his wife crying when he won the world championship. Like, truly amazing man. I mean, a lot of people, how many people stop their careers of injuries? And he was six years ago. So he was 20 years old, maybe or 21. And now look where he is. Tell me what you think about this incident. This was Shadi. And again, if you have another incident you'd like to talk about or you know about, but it's not very popular and it is uh, not very known, please let me know about it. I would love to make my research on it. Perhaps I would learn more about a certain judoka. Um, this was Shadi and I am signing out and thank you for listening.